Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark and it's Tips and Tutorials Tuesday. Today I'm going to teach about something I get asked about all the time and that's what speed and power adjustments you make when you need to cut deeper or when you need to cut more shallowly, shallowly, more shallowly, when you need to cut not as deep, what do you change? Or if you're engraving and you want it to go deeper or, or more sh shallowly, what do you change? That kind of thing. So I'm going to walk through those few steps and I'm going to be giving you an example here with the Glowforge, but this, all the principles are exactly the same no matter what laser you're using. All right. So I've got this file loaded and we're just going to use this as a visual uh, reference. I've got our new Christmas roads uh, door hanger loaded here, which you guys will be seeing maybe today or tomorrow. And over here on the left, I've got all the pieces right here. So I just want to talk about these for a moment. Let's first start with the snowman. Let's say that you want the eyes and the mouth and the buttons to engrave deeper. What you're going to do is you're going to increase the power or reduce the speed. Increase the power, reduce the speed. That makes it go deeper. All right. So let me just use this as an example. I'm going to go up here to uh, the, those pieces that we're going to engrave and I'm going to click on the arrow right here. And if I want them to be deeper than they were before, I want to either lower my speed or increase my power. Or sometimes you can do both, all right? Because the longer that the laser spends in any one particular area, it goes deeper. So if it's going really fast, it's not going to go very deep. But if it's going slow, it's going to go deeper because it's going to be moving at a slower pace and hitting an area more often or for a longer period of time, all right? Now also, if you increase the power, that also makes it go deeper. So let's say that you leave the speed the same way it is, but you lower the, I'm sorry, raise the power that will also go deeper. So again, here, if I go to full power, for example, and I slow the speed down, that's going to make it go much, much deeper. On the flip side, if you want it to be very shallow, you can increase the speed and you can, uh, that right there will cause it to be more shallow or you can increase the speed and decrease the power and that will be even more shallow. Now, a lot of times people ask about uh, the color of the engrave. Now, typically the, the darkness of the engraving is measured again by those same things. The slower that the laser moves, the higher that the power is, the darker it's going to be because it's burning and it's spending more time in one particular area. Okay. So if you want it darker, you're going to have to slow down the speed, increase the power. But remember that also makes it go deeper. So just think about that. Let's talk about cutting the exact same thing. I'm just going to tell you over and over again. So it really feels good in your head there. Let's say we're going to go to uh, this cut piece. I'll zoom out a little bit. You can see which one I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to talk about this road right here that goes around the outside. Okay. If you want that to cut deeper because it wasn't cutting through your material to go deeper, you're going to go slower and or you're going to raise the power. Now, in my case, since I'm already at full power, if it's not cutting through, I need to slow the speed down. All right. On the other hand, we want, here's another thing. We want it to cut through, but only enough to cut through. Like we don't want it to really just burn the crap out of the edges, right? So if it's cutting through at, say, 152, it's cutting through just fine. We can play around and maybe go to 162 and experiment and see if that works. And as long as it cuts through, it'll be a little more of a light brown um, burn rather than really dark. So again, if you need to cut through more, you raise the power, lower the speed. If you want to cut through less, you raise the speed, lower the power. All right. So I, I hopefully that has gotten home in your brain there. Uh, it's really simple. But again, if you want it deeper, you lower the speed, increase the power. If you want it more shallow, you uh, lower the power and increase the speed. I hope that helps. Ask me some questions in the comments here, but this works no matter what laser you have. It's just that simple principle. And once you got it, you got it. So let me know how I can help and ask some questions in the comments and we'll talk about it till you got it down perfectly.